Hello everyone and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I have been on my way back home from the center of the galaxy for a few months now and it is finally time to to make it back or not depending on whether somebody kills me or I manage to find a way to kill myself. So um, here we go my home port is Kakandi normally assuming it's still there after my very long trip I think I've been away for, well, the better part of a year. And of course I'm trying to make it back in time for the Horizons update. And I'm carrying with me a lot of exploration results that I would like credit for, and credits for. So here we go, 836 light years away. I'm gonna plot route. They've made numerous improvements to the game since the last time I record a video. For instance, it finally keeps your settings here instead of automatically defaulting to economic routes, economical routes. It always has uh, whatever you had set up before, in this case, fastest routes. And also, uh, the, your selection of star classes that you want to display on the map are retained, so that's nice. Now, my condition is not great. You might have noticed the cracks on the window. <laughs> I mean, this is a very battered ship and probably very close to getting me killed. Um, it shows 88% um, there, but the actual components, the modules on the ship are much worse for wear. Health of the thruster is only 58%, shield, genera shield generator 55 Cargo hatch is the worst off at 23%, um, power light support is only at 41%. And of course, this is all, all caused by my own negligence, so I have nobody to blame for that but myself. As we get closer to, uh, you know, uh, populated territory, though, there is a good chance that I'm going to be in danger from other people instead of just my own failures. So we'll see, and that's basically what this video is about: whether I can get back with my millions of credits worth of exploration data. And this is open play, by the way, I should specify. There is risk. This is open play. It's not just NPCs that are going to be gunning after me. So, yeah. That is the question that we now face. And I will take the risk. Alright. So, here we go for our first jump out of um, 35. I won't chronicle all 35, don't worry. Frame shift drive charging. I have to say that a lot of the routes that the computer likes to plot when you're going from about 1,200 light years out to 3,000 light years out involve stars you can't refuel at. But now that we're less than 1,000 light years, it seems like I'm getting more, more fuel capable stars. But yeah, there's a certain region where you really have to be careful of your plots and make sure that you've got stars that you can refuel at. Fuel scoop disengaged. I have admittedly not been doing too much exploring on the way back, it's mostly just been jumping. A little bit tedious that. Uh, actually exploring would have probably made it more interesting. Might even have made it faster in retrospect. In real time rather than in game time, I mean. So, obviously I have purchased Horizons, otherwise I wouldn't be quite so quick to try and get back during this month, month in particular. Fuel scooping. And what I'm mostly looking forward to, of course, planetary landings and flying around planets is, has been a long time desire, but uh, also they do promise Fuel character creation engaged. later on in this series of updates and also better ways of having cooperative play. Oh, charging. here we go. Yeah, my, my frame shift drive is not in the best condition. 
Okay, let's Friendship try that again. Yeah, more cooperative play and uh, increasing the ways people can get together and work together to do stuff. Hopefully that'll be a th the part of this season of updates, as they call it. I would sort of like the ability to EVA or otherwise walk around inside the ship. Either of those things would uh, certainly be a pleasant addition. But we'll see. We'll see how everything shapes up. For now, planetary landings is a thing. So, only on planets without any atmosphere. And I believe it's like icy planets or rocky planets, stuff like that. Nothing with uh, hugely varied terrain, not terrestrial planets, obviously. So, you know, take what you will from that. For those who uh, haven't seen my earlier episodes, this is a hauler, and its max scooping capacity is 100 per second. Frameshift drive charging. Just in case you're wondering, its max range is a little over 26 light years right now. On a single jump, I mean, obviously. Now, should be noted, one way or another, I am going to get back to Kakandi. The question is whether I'm going to have the exploration data or not. And uh, if I blow up, I'm probably going to end up there as well. It's just that uh, that's, you know, what happens when you blow up. You go back to the previous station, you stop that. Practically all my damage has been done uh, during fuel scooping and me just not being attentive. Or actually some stars catching me out right by surprise, frankly. Fuel scoop disengaged. I think I'm at a safe distance, but no. Frameshift drive charging. Now, after I do get back home, I intend to drive spend charging. some time trading. Something I haven't done much of. I only traded enough to basically get this ship and get it outfitted. So, I would like to do some trading and then... Once the expansion is released, do that sort of thing. Practice my planetary landings. Which I'll probably need a lot of practice with and will probably end up uh, dying a lot during. We will see. Ah, uh, here's the first star in my path that we probably won't be able to refuel Friendship at. Drive charging. Does do a better job of plotting to refuelable stars this close to populated space. Hey, there's just uh, a lot fewer of these unrefuelable stars. Uh, the next one is also a star I can't refuel at. Well, I can take that jump, but after that I better hit some star that I can refuel at. Well, this will be in a bit of a pickle. Okay, next one does look okay. We will see. We are now 16 jumps away. So about 400 light years. Frameshift drive charging. And that can happen too, which could uh, really ruin my day if it occurs at the wrong time. Now, of course, given that I've been exploring, it's not like I have much combat experience. And I have no guns. Frameshift drive charging. COL 359 sector XX X. Wow, that's a special one. Somewhat ominous. You know, I wonder if the repair cost can get more expensive than the insurance. I suppose it could, huh? 
In that case, uh, if I wasn't carrying a lot of exploration stuff, it would actually be beneficial to get destroyed rather than to have to repair everything. But I'm not sure. Maybe it's not possible to have the repair cost exceed the insurance cost. Okay, still no sign of anybody else. Wonder why I've got so many, so much power distribution in weapons. Cause sworn I had put it in engines and in systems before. Fuel scooping. Like when I start out, start out. That was not the distribution Fuel I had initially set. Okay, well, next one is Gamma Scooty. I assume that's a decently big star, so I'll just move on. Yep. That's a nice star right there. A or a B. Probably a B. Fuel scooping. Frameshift drive charging. Now plus five jumps, if you'd like. I guess that's the next one plus five. Just about a hundred light years left. Less than a hundred light years left, I think. Well, let's uh, top it off here, maybe. Not the greatest star, but uh, then I could potentially skip refueling on a few other places to avoid encountering people. No, it doesn't seem like a good place to top it off. Okay, let's move on. Just don't want to stay in any particular system for very long. Frameshift drive charging. Now, of course, you might say, well, nobody's going to be floating around here randomly. There's so many stars. Three, two, one, engage. And I certainly hope that's the case. But I also have to prepare for the possibility that it's not. It would be sort of silly for them to target a pathetic little hauler with no bounty on it like me, Fuel but scooping. this jump and then the jump to Kakandi after that, I guess. Four, three, two, one, engage. Okay, let's not waste any time, let's just go ahead and jump. There's Kakandi. Here we go. Frameshift drive charging. Okay, jumping to Kakandi is where uh, things get interesting. If I make it a station, how much will I make on my exploration? I don't expect too much. Uh, a couple million, a few million, something like that. I don't know how much it's going to be. I'm certainly not going to count my chickens before I actually get to the station. Okay, turning quickly and... Okay, system map. Oh, uh, here, I can just get me to, not Barcelo Terminal, Darbo Terminal, right. That's, that's my home turf. Now, do I remember how to dock? It's been quite a long time. <laughs> it's been a very long time. It'd be hilarious if, uh, after this huge trip, I smashed myself into the side of the station. That would be great. Maybe I should have just picked a closer terminal instead of this one. And there's some new contacts over there. Around that star there. So far nothing obviously troubling. 
Okay, here we go. Do I remember this whole thing? Okay, it tells me to slow down. Okay, I trust it, sort of. Oh, I overshot. Okay, so I don't remember how to do this. That's a person. Okay, safe disengaging, hopefully. Wow, this is a long safe disengage. Now it's got me worried again. Is this normal? This this is a ridiculously long safe disengage. I don't seem to be moving oh finally, jeez. Phew. Okay, Darbo terminal. seems to be spinning on this axis maybe entrance over here or is it on the other side I think the entrance entrance is over here okay docking request denied okay Request okay, I was just outside of range. Okay, don't scare me like that, computer. Landing pad one. Wow. Okay, quickly, quickly. Okay, there's landing pad one. Whoa, whoa, forward, forward. Okay, so I need some practice. Uh, right. Down. Gear down. Yeah, it has been a very long time. This is going to be a pleasure. Okay, wow. So, to the center of the galaxy and back in barely one piece. I mean, let's take a look at how much the repairs are going to cost me. Ah, I should have just entered hangar. Okay, repair all 8,000. Well, that's not too bad. 8,236. I'll make sure it does repair everything. Let's refuel all. I, I should have plenty of cash. It still says repair all 10 credits. Why they neglected that 10? Let's see. Repairs. Paint work. Uh, yeah, confirm. Hey. Okay, I give up. Uh, we'll get a new paint job. It's all right. Okay, well, uh, here's the thing I want to see, and hopefully you guys are interested in seeing too. We're at 1.47 million credits, and I've got a lot of stuff to sell. Wow, 1 million just on this page. Well, of course, this is the page that inc uh, includes Sagittarius A. This is the actual 
So the scan of the black hole at the center of the galaxy is worth 628,000 credits for those who wanted to know. And I'm glad it told us that right off. Um, this doesn't seem to have too many of my uh, my neutron stars though. Those should be worth quite a lot. That might be one. What was that one? Well, it doesn't say. No, that's three separate stars that are interesting to it. So that can't be a neutron star system or a black hole. Yeah, there's another one where uh, three different bodies are good. Maybe, those, no, not stars. Those are probably habitable planets. Okay, let's confirm. I think this is going to end up being uh, worth a lot more than I initially thought. Though I'm sure the other pages aren't going to be worth nearly as much considering, well, there isn't a huge supermassive black hole in those. Oh, I discovered a few things. And those are probably the... Well, some of them are not worth much, but the most lucrative ones are the ones that are habitable planets. Anyway, I'll get through this process and then uh, show you what I end up with. Okay, okay, okay. Can I...? Okay, well this page is only 200,000. Again, doesn't seem like anything particularly special. Okay, well that's... I'm, I'm, 200,000 is nothing to shake a stick at. Uh, this is not much at all. Please tell me that I've got better stuff ahead. I hope neutron stars and black holes, discovering them is worth as much as I think it should be. I'm not really keeping a record of all the stuff I've discovered. I'm sure some of it is pretty good. I don't even know if I... Well, I guess I should record this and note if I've discovered any black holes, actually, and verify that my Commander Fletcher Wilson gets credit for that. Well, it's not gotta be one of these. Uh, now this page might have one. Let's see. That? Let's see. That looks like a good one. Uh, no, I can't... The problem is I can't scroll on this side. Oh, no, I can. Okay, good. They fixed that. Um... Uh, no, it looks like two uh, habitable planets there. Is what I got there. Okay, well that's that's good too. I mean, uh, I don't know if it's Earth. I don't think those are Earth-like planets. I think those are actually uh, terraformable planets. Is what they are. Still, I got some fresh discoveries. I am the first disco. Ah, no, this this has a lot of credits. I wish they had a. Uh, catalog of your discoveries somewhere you know some uh, just a menu to uh, see what you've discovered that keeps track and then you can sort it out I mean just for us explorers kind of thing and this doesn't seem particularly great you know I mean some sort of log of all the stuff if you guys know that there is something like that I uh, that'd be nice please do tell me but I can't wait for it to type everything out like that and that's not the best way to find the information anyway. I like it to be sortable information of some kind. Maybe in the map view, if you could just uh, see systems where you discovered stuff. I wonder if there's a filter like that. That'd be a nice filter. Actually, it'd be nice to have a filter on the map view where it just shows you the systems you've been to before. Maybe that, that that seems like a black hole right there. Let me jot that. So I guess I don't get as much from those as I thought I would. Let me jot that name down. Okay, I've passed 9 million credits. And I don't know how many more pages there are. They're not particularly lucrative right now. This one was horrible. A lot of the... There's just a bunch of stars that you can't actually do anything with. Well, th this next one is a little bit better. There must be some terraformable planet in the mix here. Or at least some decent planets. But, yeah. Uh, well, I'll be looking forward to getting past 10 million, hopefully. But, yeah. The main thing I want uh, from... Oh, wait. This one is 393. So, I guess there are some surprises left for me. Uh, Skaudu. Uh, this must be some... Maybe an Earth-like or something like that. Yeah, but uh, from you, the viewer, I would like suggestions about what kind of ship I should, I should purchase with, um, let's say, let's say nine million credits, and uh, keep in mind I only have a hauler, and um, sidewinder, and I need to be able to outfit whatever it is. 
So, I mean, just, just suggestions. I mean... Because I've been away for a while. Probably I'm going to be trading next. I think I might be over 10 million. But it's going to take me a while to get through all these pages, I think. So I don't want to belabor the point. So I'll say thank you for watching. And uh, I am back home, if you will. Back close to the solar system. And I look forward to doing some activities here. I don't know what the next video I post will be about. But I'll try to make it uh, something with a definite goal. And so, yeah. Look forward to that. And... If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.